Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we are gonna make five sounds on the Melbourne Instruments Delia, and the five sounds we're gonna to make today sound like this. Before we get into it, full disclosure, I have worked with Melbourne Instruments on both the Delia and the Nina, making packs for both of them. So I'm not gonna do a review. If you wanna check out a review for the Delia, Loop Hop's done a really good one, covers everything. But today we're just gonna make sounds and I'm gonna cover five of the sounds that I made for the pack that came out with the synth and just talk a little bit about my process as we develop the sounds and yeah, so let's get into it. So first up, we are gonna make a pad. So scroll all the way over to the start and we'll go initialize preset. And that gives us just a sawtooth. And the patch that we're gonna recreate today is my patch rough edges. So first up, let's look at the oscillator section, which is just here. Actually, we can just go out of that. So now, we can start to see the little oscilloscope that's on there. So for the first patch, we're gonna look at the oscillators. Oscillator one is gonna be tuned to eight feet and then the, the shape, we're gonna go to about 50. So we're going halfway between the saw and the square. So as we... you can hear the, the different timbres you can get from the different wave shapes. And then obviously volume, we're gonna have all the way up to full. For oscillator two, we are gonna, we are gonna tune, let's turn the volume up. So now we have the two oscillators going. We're gonna do the tune, course is gonna be, actually we're gonna keep the course at eight, but we'll go tune, We're gonna go up 700 cents. So, so, so now we have, we have like a little chord shape going with just one finger. Cause I'm a lazy keyboard player. I want maximum for the minimum input. So now that we've done, we've done the tuning, we're gonna go across the shape. And for this, we're gonna do, go, down to around sort of 21, 22. I want halfway between the triangle and the sawtooth, roughly. I mean, anything goes sort of thing. And then the volume, obviously we kept it at 100. We're gonna keep it at 100. We're gonna come across to oscillator three, turn the volume up to 32. Roughly 31.5. We'll go coarse up to four feet. And then shape, we're gonna keep it at zero. You can hear when we sort of go all the way to the right with this wave shape, it kind of gets a little bit too digital and sort of metallic, so keeping it all the way down. And if I come across the one and two, turn them down. This is just, just the, the third oscillator. So let's turn them back up again. So now that we've done the oscillators, let's head over to the envelope generators. And this is gonna be for the filter. We can see VCF and then VCA is gonna be for the volume of the synth. So we're gonna keep the level at 100. We're gonna, Increase that attack to 60. And for these numbers, I'm just referring to the number in here. Almost 61. 
decay 11, 10 or 11. Sustain is going to be at 100 and then release. Nice slow release, we're going to go to 76. So now, nice sort of pad feel. We have the long tail and a nice slow attack into that. Next up, we're going to look at the filter section. So for the filter, we're going to not use the high pass, but we're going to use the low pass. We're going to pull this down to 70, sort of mute out some of those highs. We can keep the resonance at zero and then the drive, we're going to go all the way to 100. And you can hear, if I take it down, it starts to really bite and then we get that really nice sort of really nice beefy sort of rough sort of sound to it. We're not going to use the the envelope generator for the VCF because we're just going to keep it as is and the heavy lifting is going to be done by the VCA. Next up we want to look at the LFOs and we're going to set up the LFOs before we get into the mod section. So let's select LFO 1. And then what you can do is over here, we got LFO, we can select this and then we can see all of the, the parameters that we can change. So for this LFO one, we're gonna go rate is gonna be set to 9.4. The level is gonna be set to 85. So we're gonna have a, a lot of it, but it's gonna be at a slow rate. So 85. There we go, 85 on the dot. And then the shape, we can go LFO shape here, bang, and we're gonna set it to sign. So it's already set there, so we can exit that out. Now we have this pretty cool sound, but when I make sounds, and when I make sounds for synths to be released, obviously you want to utilize the different um, the other different things you can use as mod sources, so like the velocity, after aftertouch, the wheel, just out of shot, and the LFO. So for this, we're going to turn the mod on, and then for the velocity, we're going to select that. So now we've selected that, and then we're going to select that to the cutoff, and we're going to go 28 on that. So if I go, we'll go a lot, we'll go the maximum amount. So if I little fine touch and then if I go full you can hear that but we want to dial that back a little bit to 28 so we're going to get a little bit of movement because a little kind of does a lot so we don't sort of need too much on that after touch we're going to go to the LFO rate so we got after touch here and we can go rate and we're going to go into the plus and we're going to go 52 and then the wheel we're going to set to cutoff and that's going to be full. So now if I use the cutoff wheel just out of shot gives us a little bit more hands on instead of trying to sort of play at the right velocity. Now we're going to head over to LFO 1 and the LFO one, we're gonna send that to a number of sources. So let's go oscillator one tune. We're gonna go a little bit. We're gonna go four-ish, 4.6, that's good enough. And then the shape, we're gonna go plus 66. Yeah, about there, triple six, there you go. We're going to go oscillated two, we're going to go minus four, so just a little bit as well. We're going to go about 60-ish again for the, the shape. And then oscillated three, 
the position, we're going to go plus 28. So now we've done all those sources. So now if we press, you can hear we've got a lot of movement going on there now. So now that gives us a bit more when we kind of it's not just such a static patch, it has a lot more movement to it. We can pull this down, the filter a little bit. Let's go down to sort of 50. Now we have a good amount of movement, but we haven't used any effects. So let's add that. We'll go effects one. It's already set to chorus. It's set to slot one. Effects send level. We're going to edit that. And we can, you can see as we go here, we can actually just change it over here. We're going to go about 50. Chorus mode two, mix. Yeah, we'll keep it at 100. So now, it's given us a nice amount of chorus on there. And then we can add another effect. So let's go effects two. We can go edit. We're gonna add the reverb. Effects in level. We're going to keep it slot one as well. Levels same and we'll go hold two, pre-delay none, tone, we'll keep it 24. Shimmer, I like this. So on my patch, I added it up to just around 50 and then the mix, keep it 100. So. And you can hear that shimmer coming in the back there. So that's our first patch. That is my patch. It is rough edges. And yeah, if you've got yourself a Zillia, you can check it out, see what I've done. But yeah, you can use these techniques for pretty much any synth as long as you have a couple oscillators and effects and stuff like that. But yeah, let's uh, get on to the next one. So the next sound we're going to make is a lead sound and it's the patch is called Verberation. But obviously I've already initialized the patch. One thing you... Uh, so first up we're going to start, we're going to select patch. We're going to go voices to one and then we're going to change the poly mode to legato. Because of the lead sound we just want the one note playing at a time. For this patch I did anyway. So great exit out of that. Now we can head over to the oscillator section. Oscillator one is going to be tuned to four feet. So we hit the course, go up one. And then the shape is going to be set to 85. So. Nice and sort of raspy sort of sound there. And then the volume is going to be set to 100. Then oscillator two is also going to be set to four feet. We'll go volume is going to be to 100 and then shape is going to be 70. One thing that this patch has a lot of is the has like a glide. So let's go across. We're going to select glide here and then the glide time we can edit that, Actually, we can edit it here. So we're going to go. Let's 
the 35 seems pretty good. We can exit out of that. Now that we've kind of got the oscillators and the sort of the glide going on, we can head over to the envelope generator. Let's look at the VCA to start with. We're going to keep the level at 100. We'll go attack is going to be 33. Decay is going to be as it is, 9 or 10. Sustain is 100. Release is going to be 58. Now that we've got that sorted, we can head back to the filter section. So filter is going to be down to 49. Really bring that down. Resonance is going to be 35. Give it a little bit of bite there. And then drive is going to be 45. It's before it starts to sort of overdrive the circuit there. There we go. Now we can look at the envelope generator for the filter. So we go click VCF. The level is going to be 19. So we're just going to introduce a little bit of that. 20, that's good enough. Attack is going to be 11. Decay is going to be 9. Sustain is 100. And then release is 58. Fifty nine. So now we have kind of majority of the sound put together. We can start to look at some other bits. So let's set up the LFO before we start to look at the mods. Obviously, when I'm creating the patch, it's not not so step step step. I would kind of do a little bit and then finesse it, and then go back, maybe add an LFO, start to finesse the LFO rates and everything like that. I'm just trying to keep it a little bit more logical and a little bit easier to comprehend what's going on with the actual patch. So we can select LFO one. We're going to go rate to 10 ish. It's 11, 10.9. We're going to go the level for that at 90. So again, we're introducing a large amount of it, but it's going to be at a relatively slow rate and then the shape LFO shape it's already set to sign so we can exit out of that next we want to set up our modulation sources so we're going to click mod we can go to velocity and then for the velocity I set that to the cutoff we're going to go to aftertouch and we're going to set that to the LFO rate so we can go plus 35. So now when we press and long press hold like a hard press on the key, it's going to increase our LFO rate. So then it gives us a little bit more change in the sound. The wheel is going to the cutoff again. We're going to set that to 27. So for LFO1, we're going to set the oscillator 1 shape. We're going to add 10 to that. So we have a little bit more movement going on there. And then LFO1 level. To kind of get a little bit more of a vibrato. And then oscillator to level, we're going to go minus 60 for that one as well. Now, if I press and long hold, like you can hear the more like the changes in that LFO one rate. So now we can click mod again. And like before, we've kind of got the sound dialed in, but we can utilize the effects. So let's go effects one 
And for this, we'll go to chorus, and then we're going to send to about 50%, everything else. So zero. Here widens the sound out a little bit. And then we'll go effects two, edit. We're going to go reverb. And we're going to go through. And shimmer is going to be zero. And then mix, we're going to dial that back to 36. So you can hear there as we play, we have the, the variations on the LFO1 rate and it gives us more variety over the whole patch. So next up we are going to make a bass patch and for this one it is Raspy FM is the patch that we're going to recreate. So let's obviously go load and initialize preset. So it gives us really basic and I have a little bass line so I can play that and we can develop the sound as we go. So first up we'll want to go to patch. We're going to go to uh, poly mode and we're going to select mono re-trigger. Uh, yep. And we can exit out of that. Now I'm going to play the, the patch and then I play the, the MIDI line and we can go from there. So first up, let's look at the oscillator section. We'll go course tune for oscillator one and we'll go down to 16 feet. And for the shape, we're going to go with a triangle. So that's all the way down to zero. Volume at 100. For oscillator 2, we're going to go to 100 as well. And for course for 2, we're also going to go down to 16 feet. So it gives us that nice bass register. The shape is going to be set to 31. So it's going to give us that sawtooth. Now that we've done the oscillator section, first thing we want to do is get that FM sound. So we're going to go to mod, we're going to select oscillator 2, and then we're going to tune oscillator 1, we're going to go to 54. And you can hear that kind of moving and giving us that sort of sound. It's a little bit touchy. There we go. Then we got 54. Now we can select mod again. It gives us that nice sort of texture with the, the feeding oscillator 2 into 1. Next we're going to go to the envelope section. We've got the VCA. We're going to set to 100. Attack is going to be set to 11. Decay is going to be 11. Sustain all the way to 100 and then release is going to be 46, 47 around that. Next we'll go to filter and we're going to pull the filter for the low pass down to 34. You can hear it takes out all those sort of highs and sort of a little bit of that raspiness but we're going to add some of it back in with the envelope. We've got resonance to zero, and then drive is gonna be at 62, so we're gonna add a little bit to it. Next, we're gonna to go to the envelope section. We're gonna select VCF. Level is gonna be 64, so. And yep, 64.2, that's good enough. And we're going to go, attack is going to be 14, decay is going to be 39, 
So we're going to go 100 on the sustain and then release around 40 there. So now we've got something kind of what we're after. Next we're going to go to the rest of the mods. Actually, I'm going to take this level down just a little bit. And I'm going to take the sustain down. Go back to the VCA, take this release down a little bit. I think it works a little bit better to have that sort of more of a staccato sound with the line that we've got. Now we're going to go to the mods. For velocity, we're going to go drive up to seven. After touch is going to be oscillator one shape. You're going to set that to 21. 21.8, that's good enough. And then the wheel is going to be set to cutoff. We'll go to 51. And drive, we're going to set that to 19. Now we have the wheel just out of shot. Gives us a little bit more hands on to play there. And that is the patch. If I stop the music now, really light touch all the way through, and then after touch, obviously. You can hear as I hit harder and hold the, the note down, gives us that sort of little bit of change with the shape. So there is the base patch. Next up, we're going to make a string patch and the string patch is called left of center. So I've already selected the initialized patch and let's get into it. So first up, we are going to select patch and then we're going to go Unison voices, we're going to edit this, we're going to go to 2, and then the detune, we're going to set this to 12, and then poly mode, we're going to keep poly, so we exit out of that. You can hear that, so if I go back again real quick, take this down. You can hear that coming in there. Oh. So I've got, again, I've got a, like a little MIDI line. So I'm going to push play and we can develop the sound. Just going to turn it down a little bit. My, just going to turn that filter down a little bit as well. So oscillator one, we're going to keep it at eight feet. Shape is going to be set to 33, so we're going to get that sawtooth sort of world. Volume is going to be to 100. Oscillator 2 is going to be set to 16. Okay. Shape is going to be 33 again, so we got both at the sawtooth. And then the volume is going to be to 100. For the VCA, we're going to set that to 100. Attack is going to be 42. We'll go 43. Decay is going to be 11. Sustain is all the way at 100. And then release is going to be at 63. So this is going to let, allow the, the tails to sort of drift over into the next section, next chord progression. And the attack is going to make it a little bit more smoother between the notes. For the filter, let's go down to 45. 45.4. Resonance is going to be set to zero. And then the drive, we're going to crank this right up to 75. Now 
Next, we're gonna use the LFO as a mod source later. So let's set up LFO one now. We've got that selected here. The rate is gonna be 37. Level is gonna be 92. And then the shape is gonna be set to triangle. Next, we're gonna look at some mod sources. So let's go select mod. Velocity is gonna be set to cutoff. Aftertouch is gonna be set to the LFO one rate and that's gonna be at 54. And the wheel is going to be set to the cutoff again, and that's going to be at 35. So now we have that control of the, the wheel just off camera there. LFO1 is going to be set to the oscillator one level. And that's going to be Minus 54. So then now we've done all of the, the mod sources, so we're gonna to start to look at some of the effects. So we'll come over, press effects one. And for this, we're gonna, we've already got a chorus. And send level. Let's go to 50, mode is 2, and it's going to be 100. So if I stop that now, You can hear their nice, rich sort of string patch. And there we go. Next up, and the final patch we're gonna to create today is a brass patch. So I've gone and initialized it. And again, I have another little MIDI line. So let's get that going and we can create the patch. First up, we'll select patch. Unison voices, we're gonna change this to two. And you can hear that doubled up now. Unison detune is gonna be seven. We don't want it too crazy, but we do want a nice thick sound there. And then pan a position. We're gonna go six and then poly mode, we're gonna keep that as poly. Next we'll go to the oscillators. Oscillator one, we're gonna keep it at eight feet. We're gonna keep it as a sawtooth and volume's gonna be at 100. Oscillator two, we're gonna set it to 16 feet. We're gonna go a square and then we're gonna go full with the volume there. Next, we're gonna go to Oscillator four, which is the noise. So for this, let's turn these both down. And we're gonna go. We're gonna keep it as a noise and then the shape is gonna give us that full white. And then the volume, we're gonna go around 35. We just want a little bit more bite in there. Let's go back to oscillator one and two, turn up the volumes. Now you can hear it's roughed it up a little bit more. Let's head over to the VCA. We're gonna keep that level at 100. A 
attack is going to be 12. Decay is going to be as it is at 11. Sustain at 100 and then release at 11. We'll go 11.6. Next we're going to go to low pass. Pull that all the way down. Resonance is going to be up around 32-ish. And the drive, we're going to set that to 45. Obviously now we can't hear any of that going on with the, with the filter because we've pulled that all the way down. So let's go over to the VCA. Oh, sorry, the VCF. Turn that up to 100. We'll go attack is going to be 23. Decay is going to be 41. Sustain is going to be zero. And then release is going to be at 42. Next, we're going to look at some of the mod sources. So let's select mod, velocity. And we're going to go drive to 32. And we'll go wheel is going to be to cut off. And we'll go 40 and then the drive is going to be about 30. And now we've done all the mod sources. So if I just has a little bit more dynamics with the with the um, velocity going for a mod source and same as a wheel, a bit more control over it. Next, we're gonna add some effects. So we'll go effects one. And for this one, we're gonna be, keep it as a chorus. We'll go 50% on the amount we're gonna to send to that chorus. And we'll keep it as 100. We'll go to effects two. And for this, we're going to select a reverb. And you can hear that's massive. So we need to dial that down a little bit. Send level is going to be 50. Reverb time is going to be a little bit less at 40. We'll go hold two, no pre-delay. Tone, we'll keep it 24. Shimmer, let's add some shimmer in. We go 45 and then mix. We're going to pull this all the way down to 25. You can hear that shimmer coming in the back there. So now this is the finished patch. And there we go. So we have made five different patches on the Melbourne Instruments Dalia. Hopefully you've got to see a bit of the workflow and how the patches come together. And whilst it's very, I've tried to kind of do it in a logical order, when I'm creating these patches, it's definitely not like that. I kind of get a rough sort of tone with the oscillators and then I start to look at filter to kind of take away some of that sound. Um, Definitely using the VCA and VCF to kind of shape it a little bit more in terms of the, the type of sound. So if I want a long attack, if I want it to be very staccato, if I want it to be like a pluck or something like that. And then after that's all said and done, I look at mod sources to then add that cherry on top. Obviously, if it's a FM patch, you kind of got to go do that a little bit early on. But the mod sources for velocity after touch and the wheel are something that I add at the end to kind of give it a little bit more. You might have a relatively dynamic patch, but then adding some, some mod sources to the velocity and after touch can really help give that patch a lot more. And then obviously the hands-on appeal of having 
some mod sources sent to the, the wheel off to the side here, you can really get a very dynamic patch that is fun to play and is very musical and can be used within songs. It's all well and good in creating a patch that sounds really good but just doesn't really fit into much music. So I try and make mine, whilst they might be considered a little bit boring, they're all patches that I would use and have used within my song. So yeah, that's how I go about it. Hopefully you've gotten something out of this video and hopefully this has inspired you to create something today. And until next time, see you later.